130 Superhertz. Getting ready to take off in formation for preparing for their combined arms demonstration. It is one of the most ungainly looking aircraft, and my recollection is that there is really some some semi-derogatory name for this because it was because the way it looks, the way it flies, it's a great airplane, but it just doesn't look right. But it's the Sherpa, and aboard are members of the United States Special Operations Command Parachute Team, the Black Daggers. It's an Army aircraft. Believe it or not, the United States Army has more aircraft than any other branch of the military service, both fixed wing and rotary. Now, in just a couple of moments, we're going to be bringing Michael Gooley into the stage as we work our way up to the United States Navy's Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels. We also have the Geico Skytypers who will be performing for us. All okay, the combat capabilities of our home station Air and Army National Guard, which was working with the active Army during a simulated airfield seizure with multiple contingencies around the world in a joint force concept is essential for each branch of the military to fight as one. In contrast to some of the other outstanding performances you've seen today, this demonstration is a simple integration of the everyday combat tasks these professionals would normally accomplish under hostile fire. The demonstration will leave no question that your armed forces are ready to fight the war on terror and defend our homeland. The Rhode Island National Guard units involved in today's demonstration are the 143rd Airlift Wing, flying the C-130J Hercules, 1st Battalion 126 Aviation, flying the UH-60 Blackhawks, Delta Company 126 Aviation, flying the C-23 Sherpa, and Special Guests, the Black Daggers Parachute Demonstration Team, the U.S. Army Special Operations Command, who you see parachuting in the battle zone to initiate the strike. puts us at war behind enemy lines. You are looking out at the enemy controlled airfield and our mission is to seize control of this airfield as quick and efficiently as possible. As you enjoy today's demonstration, keep in mind that brave men and women of the Army and the Air National Guard are currently engaged in combat and humanitarian operations just like this throughout the world, voluntarily putting their lives in harm's way each day to defend the rights and freedoms that all Americans hold dear. Today we honor the memory of those who have given their lives the defense of this great nation, and we salute those currently engaging the enemies of freedom around the globe. Most members of your Rhode Island National Guard were born and raised right here in New England. 
We are your family, friends, neighbors, and co-workers. For a few of us, this is a full-time career, but for most of the National Guard members, it's the best part-time job you can ever imagine as part of our day-to-day -day operations. We fly training routes throughout New England. Maybe you've seen us flying over your neighborhood. If you haven't, it won't be long before you see us. So keep your eyes out for us now that you know what we look like and what we do. At home or overseas, we are all proud to serve and are honored to be part of the rich heritage of the National Guard. Nearby, two Rhode Island C-130s have been dispatched to supply the assault force with ammunition and vehicles. The C-130s are now inbound to the airfield from behind you as the Black Daggers get into their combat strike positions at show center. The pilots are timing their arrival to maximize the element of surprise. Let's watch and listen. Thank <laughs> you. 
or you might rejoin. The helicopter force and the C-23 will form up for a formation pass. since about 5 o'clock this morning doing heavy-duty bangs using special garbage bags filled with gasoline and using some dynamite and boy oh boy was that great. We are now going to take a very, very brief intermission. At 20 minutes after the hour, we So this will give some of you a chance to grab something to eat. If you have not yet uh, gotten something to drink, grab something to drink. You will love what you're going to see with the Blue Angels this afternoon. From Fat Albert to the entire team, the weather has gotten so good. I'm going to look over at the narrator, Dave Tickle, and question. Hi, show? Looks like it. And what about Todd Royals, the events coordinator? Looking high to you? Looks like it's going to be a high show today. Oh, I'm glad you came. We'll be back in just a few minutes with the Blue Angels. I'll let you know when we're going to start. I'll do my introduction just a couple of minutes before they start. Glad you're here today at the 2011 Rhode Island National Guard Open House and Air Show. Bud Light presents Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius. Today we salute you, Mr. Giant Taco Salad Inventor. A culinary creation that baffles the human mind. A 12,000 calorie salad. Ground beef, refried beans, 
guacamole, cheese, sour cream, and if there's any room left, a few shreds of lettuce. Some may ask, is your taco salad healthy? Of course it is. It's a salad, isn't it? So crack open a nice cold Bud Light conquistador of the calorie. You put the feast in Fiesta. <laughs>